What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and enjoy Norway's 2009 Eurovision winning song, Fairy Tale. Now, as an American, I barely know anything about Eurovision. I have never really seen Eurovision. I've seen some clips on YouTube. Uh, I'm not very familiar with what the contest is. They don't show it here in America. We don't really ever talk about it. So uh, this whole Eurovision singing competition is kind of new to me, but I believe basically all the European countries compete in a singing or music contest where they make songs and they vote on the winner, basically. So I was looking through this and in 2009, Norway was the winner of Eurovision, I see. And I was curious, uh, if Norway won the entire competition, I know that in the finals you sing one song, and I was curious, what was that winning song for Norway? And I found it on YouTube. It's by Alexander Rybach called Fairy Tale. This, uh, this is the grand final. And so uh, all the finalists got to sing their song and then all of the other countries vote on who they like the most. And Norway got the most votes for this song. So I imagine... At that point in 2009, Norway was quite proud of winning Eurovision, rightfully so. And I'm, I'm curious what on earth the song was like. Or, and if it won, it must be quite good, honestly. I know sometimes the, the culture of the nation kind of comes through in the performances on Eurovision. So maybe this has some Norwegian culture behind it as well. So... Without any further ado, let's take a look. Fairy tale. Okay. Oh, the music and lyrics are by Alexander Rybach. He actually wrote this song? Wow. I did not, that's pretty cool. And he's performing it, right? Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. Dancing. There he is! Is this just a violin? Is there any singing? Or does he just play the violin really well? Americans don't usually listen to this kind of music either, but it's very refreshing. And I forgot that there's like dancing that's a part of this as well. Okay, I, I like this. Years ago, when I was younger, oh. I kind of liked a girl I knew. <laughs> That's funny. He's uh, singing in English. That's actually great for me. I can actually understand what this song is about. And it's funny how when he sings, like, he, he doesn't even have a Norwegian accent. It's so crazy with singing. Like, British people don't have an accent to me. Norwegians don't have an accent when you sing. It, it's very strange, but this is a pleasant surprise. It's, it, the song is written in English. And he not only plays the violin, but he sings really, really well. She was mine and we were sweethearts. Huh. That was then, but then it's true. <laughs> I'm in love with a fairy tale. Okay. Even That was great. Um, wow, I know that's not the end, but that was like the big moment. That was awesome. That was actually like a musical or something. Like it reminds me of like a musical or a stage performance. Like that was great. Yeah, wow. Like it actually is a good melody. <laughs> oh, 
okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but these guys, these guys on the ground are like <laughs> doing push-ups. Like, <laughs> they're like doing push-ups and jumping all over the place behind them. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay, there's more. Every day we started fighting. Every night we fell in love. No. This is like a really nice song. Like, I totally get it. I mean, I don't know how this is judged, whether they judge it based on the choreography and the dancing and the his playing of the instruments and the whole performance, or mostly on the vocal, the singing performance, but I think there, it's obvious why Norway won this, because everything about this act is really, really, really good. No one else could make me sadder, but no one else could live me high above. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nowadays I cannot find her. Wow. But when I do, we'll get a brand new star. Oh my gosh. They must have been so nervous. Like this guy doing this backflip. Nowadays I cannot find her. Oh my god. He must have been so freaking nervous to just land that flip. Like, <laughs> like everything was on the line. Like, this guy, Alexander, is doing such a perfect job singing. The women are singing. This guy's just got to nail this backflip. <laughs> but when I do, we'll get a brand new start. I'm in love with a fairy tale. Even yeah. though it hurts. <laughs> Man, he came up with a really, really catchy melody. Like, I feel like that's one of the biggest intangibles about this whole thing is I'm sure all the performances in the grand finals here are good. But at the end of the day, is it actually a song that you would listen to that gets stuck in your head? And this melody that he's singing is actually really, really catchy. And he's good at violin. Oh, one of his strings broke. He's violining so darn hard. One of the strings snapped on his bow. <laughs> wow. So good. So good. He's very good at a uh, performance. Like he's even performing in front of the camera really well, like motioning to the camera. Like the, I totally understand why this one. Oh yeah. The violin is good too. Wow. <laughs> oh man, they must have been on top of the world. Like I don't even listen to violin much and it even in this song, the violin is like super catchy and pleasing. Wow, holy holy moly, there's a lot of people. This stadium is gigantic. That must be so nerve-wracking to perform in front of this audience. This is enormous but they nailed it oh my gosh they absolutely nailed that perfectly done fantastic song really good uh dancing flipping the harmonies that was, that was just that was a treat um especially as someone i don't like watch eurovision i don't know any of the stuff from eurovision really 
Uh, this is like such a treat. I totally get why people are so into this. And the fact that this is an original song, right? This was probably written for the contest. Are there any uh, comments here? Oh yeah, there's got to be some comments on this. Let's see what people are saying about this performance. The way he enjoys the performance gives me goosebumps. Exactly. He's doing a good job looking like he's having fun. And he has a really interesting voice. It's like very innocent and and boy-like. Like, but very nice and sturdy and confident. It Really good voice. Um, this was the only time I voted in Eurovision. I'm from Greece, so pe people from other countries really loved this. Every year since 2009, I come back here to remind myself of what good Eurovision win looks like. Wow, such a good song. He was so charismatic. He, what, he is charismatic. That's the thing. He is so charismatic. He's likable. He deserved every bit of the win. Yeah, incredible. Wow, this song is a classic. Made my childhood really vis beautiful. It's very catchy. Uh, I love the dancers just doing push-ups. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Jumping around with the dramatic singing and violin perfection. I don't know what other year's winners have looked like, but this is like set the standard for me. Like it would be hard to top this. That was so much fun. World needs artists like this. Best song I've ever heard. It's a masterpiece. Uh, best song ever performed in Eurovision. Wow, this song is like really well known. Like really highly regarded. I mean, this video has 64 million views. This Eurovision song has 64 million views. That is insane. That's like any popular song out on YouTube. Like... This is this was really really well received more than I ever realized. Back when the winner deserved it, <laughs> his movements, smile, aura, it's like he was out of a fairy tale himself. Oh wow. <laughs> Dancers were amazing, gives me goosebumps. Still a masterpiece. And also for a that was a live performance, not a studio performance. For a live performance, that was just fantastically done. Like, I forgot it was live. Like, they, he is very, very good singing live as well. Very important. Uh, he's infectious. Man. Wow. Okay. One of the best Eurovision winners ever. A lot of people here saying that they think this year was one of the best winners ever. And uh, I haven't seen any of the other years, but I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. This was really good. I totally get it. Man, it had just the right amount of Norwegian culture in it. The performance was amazing. It was catchy. That was, that was really cool. And especially, like, not knowing about any of this Eurovision stuff, really. Getting to see a winning performance like this, I instantly get it. So that was so enjoyable. So I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and stuff about Norway that I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.